Hey, what's up guys, Barack Gage here, and today, in this Order and Chaos video, we're going to be talking about five awesome things about the new Harvest Tide event. Guys, they added so much stuff in this, from new world bosses, to new quests, new vanities, new mounts, so let's just jump right into this, guys. Alright guys, so, the first thing I have to talk about, obviously, are the new vanities, and guys, I really like how Gameloft did the vanities in this update, so, if you come over to the left side here, you can just go right over to crafting, and then these wings over here are actually what let you uh, craft the vanities. So you can see you get the pumpkin costume, the demon costume, and the ornate demon costume. Now guys, admittingly, the ornate demon costume is just ridiculously hard to get. I mean, I don't even know how, I, I, don't, I haven't done the math to even consider how I would get it, but it looks amazing. But yeah, man, it, it takes a lot of work to get. So if you ever see somebody with that, shake their hand because they're pretty beast at this game. But I'm gonna be working my, my butt off to get these demon wings here because I think they look sick, but you can see they have the whole demon set. They have the, the pumpkin costume. A lot of people already have the pumpkin costume. I myself already have the pumpkin belt. I'll show you guys the helmet here. So a lot of people have the helmet. I have made the belt here. Uh, where is it? And you can see it right there. So the belt's pretty sick. May as well put that on. <laughs> and you can craft all this stuff with materials you get, and the materials you need, you can either buy from this guy, here in the Emperor Square of Koromir, or you can buy, or you can get them from the dungeon, Reaper's Revenge. You can also get them from your garden, and you also get them from world bosses, which we will be talking about uh, later on in the video. So the vanities are really sick, guys. I recommend you start working on them right now. At number four, guys, I have to say the quests. Now, in the middle of Emperor's Square, you'll find all the daily quests that will get you your pumpkins and your, your crafting materials and whatever. But if you go to the one this one specific guy here I'll show in the video, he'll give you a quest chain where you'll be running all around Koromir. And I highly recommend you read all the dialogue and you actually pay attention to the quest line because it's funny and it was actually really interesting. I spent like a better 45 minutes last night just doing that quest line because I was just so intrigued by it and interested. You can tell Gameloft put a lot of work into that and it's it really paid off. I actually had fun doing a quest in this game and that's something I haven't been able to say in a while. But yeah, the quests for this event, super fun guys. All right guys, and number three, I think we have my personal favorite and that is the world bosses guys. Now, if you remember way back, like two years ago, one of my first videos ever, I talked about five ways Gameloft could improve order and chaos, and I talked about having these big bosses that would show up and attack and, you know, really bring the server together to make you, make you want to kill them. And that's basically exactly what they did in this update, guys. There's about three different bosses that require the whole server to come together and use their materials uh, together to spawn the boss, which gives the whole server more seeds, and you can keep working together and keep spawning these bosses to get your vanities and guys it's just it's amazing it makes the world feel alive it gives it gives every single person no matter their level a common goal which makes us all work together and it, and it just it brings the server together so well and you guys i i really cannot underestimate how much fun these world bosses have been and what a great thing they are for the game All right, coming in at number four, guys, it's the Reaper's Revenge Dungeon. Now, guys, this dungeon's awesome in so many ways. First off, it only takes 10 fatigue. Second off, the queue times are super fast. And third off, it's super easy. And fourth off, actually, you have a chance to get a mount out of it, which is ridiculous. Like, it's, it's so fast, you have a chance to get a mount. You can do it 10 times a day for free. Like, why, why wouldn't this be cool? So a lot of people were confused on it, and they asked me to make a guide really quick yesterday. And guys, I'm not going to make a whole guide dedicated to it. I'm just going to tell you how to do it right now, just in case you don't. So, two steps, guys. First step, you have to kill all these pumpkins in the beginning. So go ahead and right when you start, grab the hammer from the mendel that is right to the left when you walk in. Smash as many of those pumpkins as you can with the hammer. Then when the boss spawns, the trick is to go back to the mendel and get the sword, guys, because the sword does the most damage to the boss. And it's it, you can't damage him with your, your normal weapon, so you may as well get the one that does the most damage, which is the sword. So just make sure your whole team, even though my whole team in this video doesn't, <laughs> gets the sword and just cut him down, guys. And you have a chance to get the mount. And you'll always get crafting materials, and you'll sometimes even get seeds to put in your garden, guys. Which is awesome, because your garden is a huge part of the update to get certain vanities. And this dungeon, guys, is just fantastic. 
All right guys, and number five, the final awesome thing about this festival is the fact that it's only for a limited time. So guys, all these awesome cool vanities and mounts and stuff are only gonna be available for the next month, month and a half maybe. So in six months when nobody can obtain them, they're, they're just gonna be extra cool. And I really do love that Gameloft didn't just kind of give everything away, you know, make it all available in the shop, whatever, because it really gives you the, the drive to go out and work for this stuff. At least it does for me. And that's the most important part of the festival, guys. I just really want to get everything because I know in six months when I can't, I'm going to beat myself up if I didn't. So the fact that this is all limited time, guys, just makes everything so much cooler. So get out there, guys. Get your mounts. Get your vanities. Go kill your world bosses, do those quests, and experience it all, because you won't be able to soon. Alright guys, that should do it for this video. I hope you guys are just as hyped for the Harvest Tide Festival as I am. I mean, we got flying mounts, we got new vanities, we got new pets, we got new mounts. We got so much to do, guys. It's a good time in Herodon right now. And... Uh, that should do it guys. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed leave a like let me know if you guys disagreed or think I missed anything Let me know in the comments below guys. Otherwise as usual. My name is Barack H and I'll see you guys in the next one